So here is my 1991 300TE 4Matic. It is an all original car, absolutely zero modifications for me, and I of course did not modify anything as well. Most functions on this car work. Um, included is the third row bench seat. However, you'll notice I'm missing the bottom bolster. But this is a third row bench seat optioned car. You see the seat belts there. This car is also equipped with a soft closing trunk. So you latch it and it does the rest. Let's see if I get a better. Probably hear that. Windshield wipers are new, both front and rear, because this glass is all original. And as such, it would be a shame to scratch it up over a $10 windshield blade. So I redid that. The original radio sticker. This car has its original Becker radio. Which does work. Some speakers might be in need of replacement. This is the original, I believe this is Zebrano wood. You can see my reflection in the wood. Uh, it's really stunning how well kept this interior is. This is the saffron, or more commonly known, Palimo, I believe, Palomino. This car was always stored indoors, 70,000 original miles. I've put on about 300 of those since recommissioning the car. You can even tell not a single one of the gauge cluster dials is faded, which is a sure sign that this car has always been garage kept. Manual dimming mirror, which says it should. It has the original floor mats. This one's a little dirty, you'll have to excuse me. Memory seats for the driver, which work all functions. This passenger also works in all functions. Rear seat, setup, ashtray. Looks like that fell down. You can see all of this is original. It's M Tex, so it's Mercedes vinyl. I put on the car brand new Michelin tires in the correct sizing. This is the Formatic, so it is all-wheel drive. I did not want to mess with the recommended tire sizing. You can see it even has the original yellow fog light bulb holders, which work as intended. Gives you yellow fog illumination. I replaced these headlight doors, as they're called, or frame surrounds, as the originals had faded with time, as they all do. So those are brand new. You can see, even down to the Mercedes gas cap, along with the original instructions. This car is very well taken care of. 70,000 original miles. I pulled a Carfax, and it indeed is the original mileage. But I believe the car and the condition really speaks to that itself. Go ahead and open the hood here. Also, while we're down here, if you need to grab the VIN, should be, there we go, there's your VIN.
the engine bay. Pretty unmolested. For instance, these paint marks, I believe, were factory. Although I'm not sure, but that's usually what I've seen. Uh, under my ownership, I flushed all the fluids. So the hydraulic fluid, power steering fluid, oil change, of course, coolant, brake fluid, of course. And it has brand new discs and rotors, which you won't be able to see, but they are indeed there, all four corners, brand new discs and rotors. The car stops on a dime. Dual horn setup. Let's see if I can close this. Don't want that flying open. That's for sure. But as said, the car is all original. Runs, drives, stops, steers beautifully. No check engine light, no formatic issues.